Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to the very first episode of Stardew Valley, which originally aired live on Twitch. Uh, this series is, of course, a result of the polls. The polls being uh, what determines what games I play. And it was voted, I wouldn't say a landslide, but uh, wasn't that close either, uh, for Stardew Valley. So we're going to be starting a brand new valley. And Glitch, thanks for the reset before everything even kicked off with your 22 months. The uh, menu music is a little bit louder. Yeah, there it goes. Let me, uh, let me try to adjust it for you. It's very loud for me too. Um, all right, so my name is gonna be Tusk and I'm going to be on Echo Farm. And my favorite thing will be um, doggies. I'm probably not going to spend too much time uh, customizing what I look like, because, uh, to be frank, I I don't much care. I guess I could try to match at least what I look like, but then that means that I'm going to sort of be required to wear the same thing uh, consistently, which is simply not going to happen. Um, let's see. I, I guess I guess this is this is as close as I can get. Um, all right, as far as the advanced options, I'm gonna have normal community center bundles, guarantee one year completable, uh, which will be on. And that's it. Other than that, everything totally vanilla. So the standard farmer is the choice that we're gonna make. Um, my ethos, of course, for all new games to the channel is everything is very standard. First pass is very standard. I am not gonna skip the intro. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the intro, but we're going to do it anyway. Hair color black? Okay. Uh, sure. Good enough. He's got a lot more hair than I do, though. I'm a little jealous, not gonna lie. So welcome, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful week. This here, this is my grandpa. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Uh, X, X years later? This very reminiscent of uh, a few of the places I've worked. there it is. Dear Tusk. It's gonna be weird to call myself Tusk, because Tusk here is on my on my floor and she's gonna keep reacting to me saying Dear Tusk. Oh, here she comes. Hi, Tusk. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place uh, I truly belong. So here we go. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Echo Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. 
Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Thanks for the resubs, everybody. And the bits, JD. Here we are on the bus. Gotta say, the, um, the game's colors are making my face look very strange. <laughs> but not you, Yoda. I'll just put you on. Stardew Valley. Uh oh. Here we go. Hello, you must be Tusk. This is Robin here. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Luz has sent me here to fetch you and show you to the uh, show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Uh, so to answer your question, I have played Stardew Valley, but not very much. I haven't logged a lot of hours, so I'm very much a beginner. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. And here it is. This is Echo Farm. He freaks out, because, yeah, it's pretty messy. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit of ground, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. It's crusty. <laughs> and here's Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your old grand or your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Tusk. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> he called her out. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. This one. Not the mailbox, obviously. Oh, well, I, I suppose that might not be obvious. I'll come by during the night to collect it. What are you, like, Nosferatu? Alright, sure. Well, good luck, he says. So here is my little plot of land. <laughs> you only save uh, when you sleep at night. So we start off here. Uh, let me pause a second. You start off here. Um, I'll explain the UI. So we have my current tools, an ax for wood, a hoe for soil, a watering can for plants, a pickaxe for mining, a scythe for cutting um, fibers and grass and some of the crops that you might harvest. Uh, we've got my equipment here as well as my level. I'm the newcomer. Uh, the farm name, current funds, and total earnings. In skills, we have five skills. Farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. And these skills uh, increase the proficiency of their related tools. So like hoe, pick, axe, fishing rod, and so on. As well as what is in my wallet. In social, we have all of the current, or uh, not current, but all of the villagers and who I've met and who I haven't. So I've met so far Robin and Lewis, and here is a list of the 26 others I have not yet met. I think, I think the number is right. Um, the map of the town. So this here is Echo Farm. Um, 
I'm not going to spoil anything, but the rest of the town here is over this way. You can mouse over some of the buildings um, and determine what they are. And some, oh, I guess, yeah, some will have question marks because we have not yet gone there. Uh, so here's the beach. And uh, most of the people in the town live here. Uh, the music is louder than me. Well, I will, um, I'll fix that as soon as I can. And then let's skip over crafting and go into the options. I, what's annoying is I had literally pulled these sliders down considerably, and then they just sort of came. I don't. I don't know. They, they reset. There we go. I think. I think that should be. Is that better? Uh. really low there we are so in crafting here's the things i know how to make for right now uh i know how to make a wood fence a gate oh uh one second a chest and a chest is going to be really important early on for me to make torches wood sign stone sign wood path gravel path cobblestone path and a campfire Sorry, before the stream had started, I had gone through the options and I pulled the volume sliders down and they just kind of reset themselves because, yeah. Then here is collections and you can collect different things like fish, artifacts, minerals, cooking, uh, the various achievements, like skip every, ship every item um, and the different letters you can get. And then of course the game options. Uh, this is the bedroom. Uh, when you want to sleep at night, you enter the bed here. Uh, you have to return back to bed before 2 a.m. or you pass out and uh, get slapped with some doctor's fees. Uh, the television is really important. And then there's some decorations here as well. And then this is a gift box of 15 parsnip seeds. You've received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. Uh, if I hit F, which is my journal, we have introductions where I have met two of the 28 people, and then getting started, which is to cultivate and harvest parsnips. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, and then seed. Uh, use a seed packet on the till soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. If we go up to the TV, we can get the weather report for tomorrow. Today, it is sunny, and you can see the sunny uh, weather up here. And then this other is spring, and then the time, and then um, another important thing is every month in this game has 28 days, and at the end of the 28th day, all your crops will die unless they're multi-season crops. So if I'm planting spring crops, and they're not going to be harvestable until, let's say their harvest time is 10 days, and I plant them on the 22nd, uh, there's no chance that they will survive into the summer unless they are also a summer crop like uh, corn, for instance. Um, so we're on day one. And then this here is the time dial. It's like our sundial and then our, our gold. Down here is your energy. And just like staying up past 2 a.m., um, you don't use up all your energy because you'll go flop. And uh, that's no good. So here is the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Uh, the fortune teller tells you your luck. And the luck would be more or less like your loot chance find if you're going spelunking so on and so forth so the spirits are neutral uh the day is in my hand so i don't have good luck or bad luck just neutral and then the last living off the land is a tip so this tip is for the greenhorns chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest essentially just because you've planted stuff doesn't mean you're yet done all right, so I am going to spend today um, getting my little parsnip farm all set up. Uh, but the direction of the rest of my days are very much going to be up to you as I usually leave them. So I need to clear a little bit of land here. And another thing I wanted to do in the options, always show hit location. It's kind of nice. So I know where I'm going to hit. So we have 15 parsnip seeds, and I'm going to do a 3 by 5 
There we go. We have all the space for our parsnip seeds here. Yeah, oh, look at my farm. Yeah. Very rough. And now that everything's planted, unless it's a rainy day, we're going to have to water as well. Um, watering becomes a little bit easier later in the game, but to start, it's very much manual labor. And then if you want additional water, uh, you can get it from wells or ponds, anything like that. All right, at this point, um, I don't think I have memorized where everyone is, but I'm going to head into town and try to introduce myself as to many people as I can. That's a good use of my time. But um, here's what I'm going to do for you all. What should I work on tomorrow? So the poll's right above my head. If you vote other, uh, you can submit your own ideas. I'll open up a channel point redemption to do that. So as we're walking around, it's also, also going to be important for us to forage here. And before I go too much further into town, it would be a good idea for me to actually drop off the fiber stone and wood that I had. I should have done that ahead of time. Um, but I just realized there's actually nowhere to drop that. So let me, um, let me work on my first box. So for my first box, I'm going to need 50 wood. Now I could just sell it. But pretty much all resources, not entirely true, but most resources have value. Um, so going around and uh, selling kind of everything that comes in your possession will actually make it more difficult for you to achieve goals later on. Because there are goals in this game where individuals in the town will ask for a specific item. And if you're not a hoarder, uh, you likely not have that item available to you ready to be uh, given over for a reward greater than the value typically of that item. So here we go. Here is my first little chest that I made. Let's drop this down. I'm just going to put it here because I don't have a lot of space for now. And I'm just going to put everything away so that I can walk into town with, uh, with a very much an empty inventory. And you're right, there is not a lot of mining that I can do until the bridge or the road to the mine is cleared. So, some other tips. Um, there are seven trash cans in town, and you can search the trash cans every day for potentially items. But just don't let, uh, don't let people see you rooting through their trash. They won't be happy with that. So make sure you do this when no one's around. Here's Penny. All right, let's poke through everyone's trash because people don't seem to be around right now. They're probably, well, they're probably out and about. And Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy. Huh, cool. Yes, indeed. Here's Gus. The chef and owner of this Star Drop Saloon, which is just south of me. Here is the uh, notice board. This notice board has a calendar. So it's spring of year one. And you can see everyone's birthdays here. And then upcoming festivals, the egg festival and the flower dance. And then on the right side of the board, there is help wanted um, that can be posted and the help wanted will often be like, hey, I want X, Y, or Z item, um, and I'll pay you gold for it. So you used to work for Joja doing office work. So here is Joja Mart. Uh, Joja Mart, in my opinion, is to be avoided, but that's just my opinion. Ooh, some, some lovely trash. <laughs> Yeah, trash rad indeed. And then in here, uh, we have got our little uh, shop here where we can uh, buy ores and upgrade tools. And then if we had geodes, we could crack geodes. 
and here's Clint. And then if I check in on introductions, I've got six out of 28. So I doubt I'll be able to do all of them today. Well, I don't think, yeah. Ooh, speaking of a geode. You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Sure. Let's go back to Clint. Process geode. And we have an earth crystal. Alright, today I'm just going to try to introduce myself to as many people as I can. So here is the local library and antiquities collection. And here's Gunther. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah, just a lot of empty display cases. That's what my Skyrim home looked like. What's this? You found something? Let me see. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find to make for a groundbreaking discovery together? And who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Okay, so tomorrow I will forage and, well, I don't think I'll be given a fishing pole, so I'm going to do some foraging tomorrow and probably clear some land as well. So let me update my project description. Day two. There. Donate to museum. I'm going to donate this little crystal here. I'm just going to put it here. There we are. And my, now my journal has been updated. Gunther asked if I would consider donating any artifacts or minerals if I find in the museum. And here we go. 250 gold. Lovely. And then if I want, I can walk back over to it and investigate it. Earth crystal is basically just amber, I think, more or less. Uh, this library is also missing books. But here is the first, tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality or reduce workload or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends unless they grow in multiple seasons. Example, corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. All right. Let's see who else we can talk to. I may also, uh, well, let's go down to the beach. Have I played this before? I have. So I've got a clam here. Here's the fishing docks. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, he's been away for months now. Want to go to the beach, bring 300 wood? Uh, what you're referencing here is this bridge, which requires 300 wood to repair, giving us access to this uh, regenerating scavenging area here. And then only Elliot, yeah, Elliot's already gone inside, so I can't say hi to Elliot. I was too slow on the up draw. Um, so King Cakes, I'm playing this because my YouTube viewers voted for me to play it. Oh, here's some more people. Nothing like a good old home invasion. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. 
you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon, that's where I work. I wish I could work in a saloon and have a house this nice. That's just not how life is nowadays. Breaking into some more homes, but there's no one home. I know it's a town of, uh, what? A hundred and, or, a hundred. Twenty-six people, but like, lock your doors, guys. Here's Vincent. Mama says, don't talk to strangers. That's a very weird thing to say when you live in a village with only 25 other people, but sure. And here's Evelyn, or Granny. Oops. Baru? Aren't you the one that just moved in? Looking forward to meeting me. You aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay, I'm Jody. You must be Tusk, the new farmer, I'm Caroline. Here's Harvey, the local doctor. I cut him off. Um, it's rewarding work. Yeah, I don't know how rewarding it must be to be the doctor for 25 people, but sure. Uh, and this is where Harvey works. Uh, stores do have store hours, so not everything is always open. It's Farmer Tusk. Sure is. Hey, Mr. Tusk. The new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the general store. If you're looking for my seeds, my shop is the place to go. So, if we walk around to the front, as you can see, we have uh, choices here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually buy some bean starters. I'm going to buy 10 of them. Uh, so, bean starters, plant these in the spring, takes 10 days to mature, uh, but keeps producing after that. It grows on a trellis. And then here's a backpack I'd like to save up for. Uh, it will double my inventory size. Here's Leia. Anyone else else in here? Yeah, not that I can get to anything. Oh, could you? Rude. Wait, who was that? Oh, it's Caroline again. Out of my way, Caroline. Don't be blocking the farmer. Very important farming work to get done. If you're ever lost, you can always hit M for the map, uh, but it's all, it's pretty easy to find Echo Farm as it's like, what, a sixth of the size of the entire town? Or whatever, whatever you name your own farm. Um, okay, so let's plant the bean starters. Sounds like a good thing to do. And I'm going to plant them like, oops, wrong tool. Plant them like this. I'm also going to get, oops, wrong tool again, uh, rid of a few of these weeds around it. Uh, all right, let's put the bean starters in. There we go. Water them. So a huge part of this is it takes upkeep and maintenance to get yield. Um, but... When you plant, you know, you'll net yourself goods later on. I don't have a whole lot of energy left. 48. Uh, I'm going to spend the last of it. I know I didn't meet very many people. I'm going to spend the last of it cutting down this tree. And then I'm going to walk around a little bit more as well. I could try the saloon at this hour. Perhaps it has people. Now, um, the scythe is really good for weeds, but you shouldn't cut grass until you have a silo. Otherwise, uh, you're just sort of wasting animal feed. So it's best to hold off on that. And that's not generally your one 
thing to do. But that's up to you. It's hard to take care of animals early if you can't afford it. Here's Pam. Ah, behind the bar. Yeehaw. Here's Gus. Already met Gus. Here's the arcades. Shane. Who's very rude. For now. Let's get a little later. Oh, it's Clint again. Uh, who else can I find? Let's go north. So here is the old community center that will become um, a fixture of the game's story a little bit later on. I guess is the best way to put it. I'm sure... Well, actually, they might be open. Nope. Got there. 30 minutes too late. Oh, what do we have here? I found a trilobite. Nice. I found an artifact. The curator at the local museum. I want to see that. I know I've missed a whole lot of people. I'm not that worried about that. You can always make introductions later. So here I go collecting um, just whatever I can find. I'm going to head back home where this is sort of the northern entrance to the farm. And then the farm, so you have a northern entrance that kind of goes straight uh, to the mines or so. Uh, south goes through Marnie's Ranch to southern south of town. And then east goes straight into the heart of the town. You can also wander through the woods west, the wizard tower, but uh, there's really no point in going there just, just yet. All right. Put these away. And I'm going to keep the trial bite on me as a little reminder that uh, I'm going to be handing that off tomorrow. All right, let's hit the sack. We know that we have to water everything tomorrow because it's going to be sunny. So, day two. Now... Here is uh, something for y'all to vote on, what I work on for day three. So the weather report for tomorrow is rain all day. So I won't actually need to water any crops tomorrow, which frees up some free time. And then the fortune teller is neutral for today. So today I'm going to be spending time, as you can see in the project description next to my head, uh, forge and land clear. I also seem to have mail, so I'll get that in a moment. So I've spent uh, 50 of my one, uh, 270 energy already. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should go down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. Okay, Willie. I'll make my way over there sometime today. So I want to exit my farm from the southern exit here. So I'm going to hack and slash my way south. Trying to spend, uh, honestly, the least amount of energy possible. Ooh, but I found mixed seeds just now. Sorry, Froggy. Okay. So southbound we go. Here's Marnie's farm. I suppose if she's in, I could introduce myself. Nope. Not open for another hour. But, did find some uh, well, horseradish. 
Now, it is also the season for spring onions. Oops, going the wrong way. So we can snag ourselves some of those. If I had the room well here, let me, what can I do? I'm gonna throw out the one wood making room. I'll probably also have to throw out the rocks. Chances are as well. Here we go, little spring onion field. Sorry, rocks. Some of the uh, fruits and veggies that you'll harvest have um, stars, and this is the higher quality stuff you should save. The lower quality stuff, the regular stuff uh, you could sell. And here is an old abandoned building. Oh, and more horseradish. I'll take that. Why save? Uh, veteran players can tell you better than I. I am a newbie, uh, but there are um, contests and the quality of the ingredients that you use will determine your success. And the gold star stuff is going to bring you a lot more success than not. I missed a horseradish at the sewer entrance. Oh well, I'm not gonna go back for it. Oh, but hi, Marnie. And no one else is in. And for prizes and gifts to NPCs, yeah, that too. Essentially, if it's rare, keep it. If it's common, you know, you could sell it. All right, so to the beach. That's where I'm gonna be heading next. After I romp north back to my farm. And I'm also going to, uh, let's plant the mixed seeds as well. That's the wrong tool. All right, mixed seeds, good luck. T Sang, thanks for the resub and welcome. Ah, oh, yes, some crops. Dandelion and a daffodil. Uh, some of this stuff you can eat. If you wanted to eat stuff, all you have to do is select it in your uh, item bar and right click and then hit yes. I'm hitting no because I don't need to eat it right now. So let's go be a trash raccoon as stealthily as we can. Hi, Haley. I am the new farmer boy. Uh, I don't know. Look at my beard, I'm the farmer man. Respect where respect is due. Don't let anyone see us rooting through the trash. And the notice board has a post. Uh, Willie will pay a hundred gold if anyone keeps uh, catches a large mouth bass. We also get to keep the fish. So let's go see Willie. I can't catch large mouth bass unless, of course, uh, he he gives me a, a fishing pole. So. Boy, there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a good big haul, sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. He wants me to have his old fishing rod. He wants the art of fishing to stay alive. And he's hoping that I will help. And there we are. So, uh, the question, of course, is that you all voted for um, 
me to forage and fish, and a largemouth bass, it'd be good to catch. Let's try to catch one. You received a bamboo pole. Okay. Let me go, Willie. All right. If it smells, it sells. Okay. Willie, let me go. <laughs> let me go. You want me to practice the art of fishing? You don't lock me up in uh, conversation forever. Hey, Jazium. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Look at this squadron of... Uh... Get going. Oh, uh, hey. Let's introduce ourselves. Here's Elliot. Ah, uh, the new farmer we've been expecting. And those uh, whose arrival has sparked a many conversation. Living in the cabin by the beach. Pleasure to meet you. Render piece of the wood. This could be fixed. And if you take a look here, the fishing for the largemouth bass, I have two days. Just two days. So let's head on north. Try to catch one of them. They don't have a lot of inventory space, so there is another problem, of course, that if I catch other stuff, um, I might be in a situation where I have to pick what to keep or eat something. We'll see. And we're just trotting along. Let's see if anyone's in. Oh. Here's Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, you're welcome. I'm not going to spend more time than that. Okay. Uh, let's find ourselves a lovely little fishing nook. I suck at fishing, but here we go. And he is trying to clear the road to mining. That wasn't a great cast, but that's good enough. This game doesn't really have an in-game goal. So click to raise the bar, release to lower the bar, and keep the fish in the green. It sounds easy, but it's... It can be annoying. And I got a, a carp. Maximum cast. Right on. And then we just wait. <laughs> like real fishing. It's hard to imagine that a, a commercial fisherman wouldn't use a net. Whoa! And I failed that. Pretty badly. Was not ready for it to take off like that. <laughs> One of the nice things is you can fish one-handed in this game. Don't be like that, Mr. Fish. Oh my god. Nope. Again, I suck at fishing. It's funny because in almost every other game I've never had problems. Oops, that have fishing mechanics like this. And this game is just like miserable for me. Just don't like it. Um, whereas like Sea of Thieves or Monster Hunter World or any of those games, yeah, no problem. Fishing was no problem at all. This game is just like oof. But yeah, as you skill up, it does get easier. That's true. Oh my goodness. I hate you, fish. 
I will defeat you. Whew. Chub. You're a chub. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me pull this back. The problem here is um, I'm going to need to make room in my inventory. Unless it's a duplicate fish. So I'm just going to eat the... Uh, eat some of the crops I got. And that also refills my energy bar. Uh, you can use re res uh, consumables to refill your energy and health if you've taken health loss. It's also getting a little late in the day. I have my eye on that. Great. <laughs> a Joja can. Well, I guess I can drink that for energy or sell it. Uh, let's let's see what next cast has. And it looks like tomorrow, um, go back to the poll. It looks like foraging fishing again is in store for tomorrow. Cool. Oh, you're an easy one, aren't you? Perfect. More carp. Give me something other than carp. I'm not too worried about uh, earning money as fast as I can in this. I'm not trying to like min max my efforts. Bullhead, okay. And now we no longer have space. Uh, sorry, Joja Can. I'm gonna toss you. No, actually, I'm gonna toss the muscle out. Now we can't spend. I mean, we'll eventually have to go home. We'll try a few more times. But this is the correct biome for uh, bass. Just haven't had much luck. It's getting dark. Also, I think as the... As night closes, I feel like my own character looks more and more deranged and homeless. He's been out here baking in the sun, failing at fishing for hours and another chub. All right, last last attempt here. There's always tomorrow. I do want to spend the rest of my energy uh, chopping down trees for wood when I get back before it becomes uh, too late. And I never handed in the trilobite either. Okay, off we go. Hey, Sebastian. You just moved in? Cool. Yeah, I'll go up this way. Sometimes it's helpful not to double back on yourself so that uh, if there's buried objects or anything like that, uh, you're more likely to find them like covering more ground. All right, let's make some room. And the rest of the fish and the daffodil I'm going to sell. If you ever accidentally sell something, you can always reclaim it, but you can only reclaim the last item. You can't reclaim the whole stack. So just be careful. So, 
another rather obvious concept, but given that you have a finite amount of energy every day and you fill up entirely on energy every time you sleep, depending on the hour that you sleep at, um, it's somewhat important, although not critical in my opinion, to try to use up your energy bar as much as you can every day so that you're as productive as you might be able to be. Because if you, um, if you go to sleep with a lot of energy left, um, it's sort of like wasted potential, I guess. But then also don't overdo it. So I can't swing really anymore or I'll collapse. I have five energy left. I could swing like twice more, but I'm, I'm just going to head to sleep. Take care of that stump another time. So I'm, I'm trying to get the 300 wood required, and I'm about um, a third of the way there. Also, tomorrow it rains all day, so that, that's going to be helpful. So, project description. Day three, you all voted for Forge and Land Clear. And here you go. Pulls up again about what I work on next. I did, however, level up in axe proficiency. Uh, so sometimes trees will drop seeds. I can now craft wild seeds and a field snack. So I'll show you that in just a second. I've also made a little bit of money. I made uh, 90 selling the daffodils and 80 selling the fish for a 170 net gain of gold. All right, let's take a look at the weather report. It is clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Oops, I'm gonna hit the fortune teller. No, nope, don't move the TV. Well, actually, maybe move the TV. Um, okay, I have no luck for today, but that's fine, because I can't go into the mines anyway. So all the crops are automatically being watered. I don't really need to worry about that. I'm gonna clear out a few more weeds. Making sure not to hit the grass if I can help it. Because the grass nets, also baby trees, if I want to grow stuff in the future. I did just get some more mixed seeds so I can hook that up. And uh, we have today uh, to try to, um, uh, let me get rid of this chub too. We have today to try to um, get that bass. And you all voted that that's pretty much what I do. Advertisement. Keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack's full. Basically, this is an advertisement for Pierre's giant backpack. That's fine. Now, let me toss this chub in. All right. I'm going to head into town, and I am going to... Um, search the trash cans and then perhaps head back up to the mountain river and do some fishing after just poking around the scavenging spots uh, but there's a new post 20 copper ores for Clint yeah there's simply no way I'm going to be able to deliver 20 copper ores to Clint considering the mines aren't open, so I'm not even going to bother accepting that, as I'd only have two days to do it. So, yeah, it's not going to happen. Here, I'll, I'll put on my rain cam here. Hi, Shane. Shane Payne. So far, we're, uh, we're bingo, except for some finding some trash. I should gift that flower to someone. I already searched this, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I'm just in time to donate the trilobite to the collection. As I believe this opens at nine. Donate the trilobite. He doesn't give me anything in return. Okay. That's fine. Hey, we got uh, a maple seed. 
I'm just gonna plant it there. <laughs> Cause uh I cannot be bothered. There's another daffodil. And then we're gonna head up north and do some fishing. And then if I find the big mouth bass, the remaining time will be foraging. But since I do have a help wanted Oh, there is um something diggable there. Let me double back. Looks like uh, you all might even want a fourth day of forging. And we found a rusty spoon. This, again, is another artifact. I'm actually going to um, donate this as well before the museum closes. I have no rhyme or reason of where I'm putting it. Mind you. Just dumping it. If the, uh, if the rain of the rain days bother you, um, I can always adjust volume. I've always found, uh, the sound of rain to be kind of nice. Hi, Sebastian. I might find a frog in this weather, he says. Well, it's like a name like Sebastian, maybe you're the frog. French joke, boom. <laughs> All right, here is my little watering hole. Uh, above the Jojo sign, there's a nugget diggable. Huh? Great, found some driftwood. More trash. Come on now. Now the misery. Uh, apparently this fish was... Nope. It played dead, but then woke up. Record-breaking carp. Enough with the carps and chubs. Give me bass. This carp is silver, though. That's something. My character really looks like a little boy blue here. I guess we match. Is this fish even going to move? Nope. Just sat there the whole time. And it's a cart with a new record. Bass is going to be a tough fish. It's probably the one I did miserable on um, and failed that one time. Soon I'm going to have to eat these fish raw to make room. But as you can see, the higher quality uh, fish, the more energy and health they restore. I think I'm going to do this until 4 p.m. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the time somehow else. Willingly failing uh, Willie's uh, help wanted. Whoa! Oh, there. Nope, nope, nope. Large mouth bass, baby. Sorry, Driftwood. All right, there we go. Woo! <laughs> we got one. All right, let's go back down to Willie. Uh, give him the good news that uh, his help wanted has been fulfilled. Not only that, but it's a silver quality fish, too. So, that's good. Yeah, there's a diggable right there, too. 
from right above uh, Joja. So let me eat the small chub. Or actually, you know what? We're we're gonna go back to uh, to Willy, and he can take some of these fish off my hands. And uh, and then it doesn't really matter. I'll have I'll have space. Thank you for watching Stardew Valley, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that this is a casual stream and I'm a pretty new player. If you'd like to catch a live stream of this, this series is actually a result of a poll I put out about once a week that determines what I play on stream. For there to be any more than five hours or one stream of Stardew Valley, it will have to win in the polls. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode, or perhaps if it wins an upcoming stream. Farewell.